Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, yeah, oh, 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 the right stuff. This is my girl Gnomes, right back here. We're in the car, we are driving to Lancaster, well actually we're already in Lancaster. We are driving to Shady Maple Smorgasbord for my birthday because I get a free meal. That's right, and I'm going to eat me some eggs and some bacon and some pancakes. I have a B&E. Mm -hmm. What's a B&E? The bacon and eggs. I thought she was talking about breaking and entering or some shit. I didn't know what she was talking about. But it is awesome and it is off the hook and I can't wait. I'm turning 20, well, I turned 29. No, well, not quite. It's not 1116. That's my official entrance to this world on this day back in 88. Hey guys, we're here. You can see Shady Maple in the background. This is my dad over here. Say hi to dad. <laughs> so we're gonna head in and eat some awesome food. I will check in with you guys later. Bye. This is the pancake station. They have all different kinds of pancakes you can choose from. And they have apple French toast. Over here, they have a omelet station, an egg station where you can get eggs made any way you want, and omelets any way you want. And the buffet is back there, which we'll get to briefly. Look at all this amazing food. It's very, very big. Very. And this is the gift shop. Oh, God. This thing is really big as well. They got lots of stuff down here. And I got coupons because it's my birthday. Let's go look around. All these figurines of like Disney. I want one so bad. Oh, look. look, they got princesses. They got Elsa and Anna. They got Snow White. That freaking, that one's eyes look like really weird. Alice. Yeah, I do love Alice. Really far apart. <laughs> it's because she ate the mushroom. That's what happened. Okay. And there's Belle. I don't see Snow White. Snow White's behind you. Really? <gasps> OMG. Look at that, that uh, horse painting up there. Very beautiful. All of this stuff is so beautiful. Hmm. Oh, look at the Christmas carols, Naomi. Oh my gosh. I want some of these guys. You know me. Someday I plan to have a room of just nothing but Christmas decorations year round. <laughs> Santa for president. <laughs> I like it. Mrs. Claus for president. Why? Just because she's a girl? What can I say? I am so stuffed right now. Like seriously, I've got food up to my eyeballs. I, I it's right here. My stomach is like so full. I don't think I can fit anything in it. Even air. I can't even breathe. That's how much it hurts. But as she pointed out, I chose this. She chose this. I Why chose the buffet choose? life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that up there. The Marilyn Monroe, that's me right there. I absolutely adore Marilyn Monroe. And they got so many. They got the Beatles. Get closer. <gasps> okay, this, official, this one is officially my favorite. James Dean and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Rebel Without a Cause. Music. That girl's dancing. Really, what you signed up on YouTube for? <laughs> me and Angie. She's the older one. She's got blonde hair, and it's me. And I, well, I don't have red hair, but I do have brown hair, so it's close. Elsa and Anna. Forever. Sometimes people are just worth melting for. Oh. 
She's one. <laughs> So there's a bunch of like I Love Lucy stuff over here, and we're trying to say the Vitam Meaty Vegemin? Vitamin? Vitamin Vegemin. Close, close. I think it. Vita, Vita, Meaty Vegemin. Vita, Meaty Vegemin. Vita, Meaty Vegemin. 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 How do you say that, guys? Vita, Meaty Vegemin. I remember this episode. She kept trying to say it and she kept drinking it and there was like alcohol in it and she kept like stumbling over her words. For happy pity people. <laughs> I want everything on these shelves. Everything. Everything. Collect them all! You want this for your birthday? A lunchbox? I just want to be wonderful. I just want to be wonderful. Wait, I am wonderful. Okay, why are you looking at me when you're saying that? Because. Turn around every now and then, get a little bit lonely, and you're never coming right. I can't turn the camera around because it's pointing at you. Hey, that's a really good side. <laughs> Don't make me drop a house on you. There's no place like home. There's lots of Wizard of Oz stuff over here. This place is like fangirl's dream right now. It seriously is. I need this shirt right now because that's how I feel. I feel like a pig. With all the hairs on the chinny chin chin too. Hey, <laughs> I have no hairs. Well, I shaved today, so you guys won't be able to see it. Oh huh? my huh? word. Hey, I got no shame in my shaving game. I'm speechless. That's a first. So you're excited that you've got a new job. Congratulate gnomes on her new job and she's gonna have a cubicle. I know. So exciting. And she can decorate it. She's found a calendar. I don't know which one to get guys. I don't know if I should get the dreams come true with Snow White and Cinderella and Belle and Beauty or Aurora or the oh girls just want to have fun one. I don't know. Which one? I'm always the default decision maker aren't I? I'm just saying which one do you think? Um I think I would get the girls just want to have fun one. Because you could probably get a Disney princess mug anywhere else, too. This is true. So. This is true. Good decision. And that one really is me. Yeah, it is. And you have other stuff that is of that same thing, of that same theme. I, I do like to have fun, so I think I've made my decision. Guess you'll find out later. Hey guys, I have to show these. These things are so freaking cool. It's like a little the cast iron skillet pan that you put um, like candle wax tart melts in it. And then it sits on top of this little stand. And I believe you put like a little votive candle under it to melt it. And I just think it's so cute. It's, it's like cauldron like. I like it. And then they've got like these like fragranced wax bits. In different scents. Ooh, Interesting. Rose petals. Those are cool because those are roses and then you watch it melt. It's actually, that's really awesome. And they got sangria. Mmm. It makes me thirsty for sangria. I really need to get out of this door because I keep finding more and more stuff I want. Like, look. I'm being invaded. Anywho. Huh, anywho, Doctor Who, <laughs> glue, look at that. I want it so freaking bad. So this is now going on my list. Okay, seriously, I'm like getting like photobomb now with Pac-Man. There are no dots here, Pac-Man, go away. Like seriously fangirling, look, now they got a risk with the Dalek invasion of you Earth. Mean, you mean the Dalek? How did I say it? Oh my god, did I actually mess it up? You said Dalek, like garlic. Don't revoke my fangirl card. Please, don't. It's still in good order. It's in good working order, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Marola. Oh, 
grumpy Naomi says. Happy birthday. Seriously? You're smiling. Bye, Shady Maple. It's been Bye, fun. Guys. It's been fun. And we're now full, and we are heading to go see my mom. And that's a really noisy truck leaving. But <laughs> now we're gonna go see mom, because she didn't get to come with us, because she was at dialysis today. But we will be back here in August for, you know whose birthday? Gnomes. Bye guys. Look, there goes the buggy and the horse. We are officially in Lancaster County. You see them everywhere. Now my eyes are peaked for more. Stay on the lookout. Every day I'm looking, every day I'm looking. There we go, that's really nice. If you guys can see, we noticed tonight when we were driving home that there is a like triangle of the moon and to the left of it, right of it, right of it, right of it sorry, is Venus and above it, it's kind of dim, but you can see it above the moon in like the top part of the triangle is Mars shining bright tonight. Just thought I'd share with you guys. It's very, very neat. Hey guys, so it's nine o'clock and we just got back not that long ago from our adventures for today. As you all know, have you seen in a little bit before, it's my birthday today. So yeah, mom and dad got me the birthday balloon. <laughs> and y'all know this is my girl gnomes. And we're just kind of gonna wrap up our our day today. So Your thoughts. Yeah. So how did the day go for you, gnomes? Let's get you talking a bit. <laughs> um, it was good. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys and laughing. I always love laughing with her. We laugh so much sometimes that we cry about stupid things that no one else really cares about. But we care about them, and this is why she's my best friend. Oh, I'm feeling the love today, I gotta say. And as the Beatles said earlier, as we were singing in the car, all you need is love. I'm Indeed. feeling quite a lot of it today. So thank you all if you're my friends on Facebook and you're seeing this. Thank you all for the amazing like birthday wishes. It means a lot. A couple of you have commented on YouTube, so thanks for that as well. Love you all. Um, pretty much it's been a good day for me. It's been a good birthday. Yeah, I'm we went to Shady Maple, and then we went to Target. Target. Target, and we got Starbucks, which is, you know, this one's favorite. And Smoked butterscotch frappuccino. Yeah, and I tried their ca new Cascara latte, which was kind of cool. It had like a subtly, like mapley flavor. It was really Ooh. good. It was really pretty good. So you should I, try it. I should have tried it. She she tried mine, but I didn't get to try hers. Yeah, the smoked butterscotch frappuccino was really good. I could taste all the caramel and stuff like that. It to was... me, it reminds me of a butterscotch crumpet. I've never had a butterscotch crumpet. You mean like a cookie crumpet? No, like the Tasty Cates. Tasty cakes. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. My God, I love those things. And that's what that's what it reminds me yeah, of. Good. That's what it reminds me of. And then after Target, we <laughs> went to the Dollar Store and because I love Dollar Tree. And we went to Ollie's, and I was looking at all the books that I don't really need for two or three dollars. So I should probably go back there at some point. I could make a video about that. See. I went to Ollie's specifically to buy books that I don't need because I have many, but I didn't find any. And that's really surprising because <laughs> I find books everywhere I go, but I didn't find any this time. And we're really calling my name. There's one or two that I thought maybe I would, I would probably like. One is Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. Really want to try to read that. Like I usually get a, uh, three quarters of the way through a Stephen King novel and totally put it down because I'm like, all right, no more, no more. 
that happened to me earlier um, this, well, not this year, excuse me, but last year, um, oh my god, what's the name of it? What's the one before that one? The se It's the sequel to it. The Shining. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> I read the book with my book club, um, and... I saw the miniseries. I've actually never seen the Jack Nicholson version of the movie. Are you serious? It's right on my now? bucket list. It's on my bucket list. No, okay, I've never I know seen what we're that watching one. Watching that after <laughs> this video. Um, but I have never seen that one. But I've seen the miniseries that they did, and that one's actually more true to the book. I found out, and it pretty much was like it was by the book. So, I have Dr. Sleep on my reading bucket list. I just haven't read it yet. You know what's always really called out to me? Like, I really wanted to watch it, but I never tried watching it. Like, okay, maybe I might have tried to, like, watch the first five minutes or so. Is, um, oh, the Norman Bates one. Bates Motel. Oh, yeah. I actually did watch the first couple episodes of um, that show. It was really kind of segued into classic horror movies but, <laughs> but then after we went to the dollar store in ollie's then we went to shubway and aiden talked and was had lots of fun yeah and my favorite part is that we sung Beatles songs all the way home yep it was pretty awesome it reminds me of my daddy so anyway Angie's got stuff she wants to show you guys. <laughs> well, I did want to kind of give a little shout out to my mom. If you're watching this, mom, we love you. And I'm so glad I got to spend the day with you after Shady Maple. Fortunately, she didn't get to appear in any of my videos because after Shady Maple, my phone died from all the videos. <laughs> so by the time we got back to um, the home where she um, resides at, and picked her up and went on all of our other trips like Tarjay and Ollie's and the Dollar Tree. My video, my phone was dead from all the videos, so she didn't get to appear any. So fortunately, you haven't met Mama yet, but she was with us for all of this stuff. So it was really nice to hang out with her and my dad, my best friend for the day for my birthday. But yeah, as Gnome said, I've got some stuff I want to show you. You all know I was shopping in Shady Maple in their gift shop, so. We're going to find out which one of the mugs I chose. So I'm sure you've all wondered which one I got. This was the winner. Girls just want to have fun. Well, you pointed out a really good point. Like, I could easily probably find a mug with the Disney prince on princesses on it anywhere else. I'm sure I'll find another one. So that one is, you know... a kind of an original. You're not going to really see that anywhere else. So I liked that one. I found a really cool headband. You got multiple headbands here. I'll help yeah, you. Yeah, but this one I actually got at Shady Maple. I love headbands, as you can see. I wear them all the time, especially at work. Keep all my hair out of my face. Go ahead. She's got all these cool headbands. I got a, yeah, I like a green, the one, green one, teal, and the pink one. I gotta have pink. Pink is my favorite color. Weirdo. And there's nothing wrong with pink. Look at that tease. I tried to put this on my head, but my head's too big. Lots of information. <laughs> so, those were at from the Dollar Tree. Can't go wrong with dollar headbands. And then I got a cool pen from Shady Maples. It says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. And she has one as well. It's hidden somewhere in the depths of my pockets. Of my coat. <laughs> do you but remember it said, what it said? Yeah, it, does, it says, do small things with great love. Yeah. So we kind of got a little matchy there. And then we were scouring the candle aisles. And I found some wax melts or tarts or whatever they're called. I don't know what Yankee Candle calls theirs. They're tarts. Okay. They're tarts. But I got Midsummer's Night. It literally smells like, it smells a, man. like a man. It smells like a man. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you everything. I tell you everything. <laughs> it looks like a man. <laughs> and then I got Yankee Candle's Pink Sands. This one smells really good. 
I How would it. you describe this? Wait, let me see. To me, it kind of smells like tutti frutti. That is what I was trying to. I was try, when I smelled this in, in the store when you showed it to me. I was like, it smells like some kind of candy, and it smells like a tutti frutti jelly bean from Jelly Belly. Yeah, that's what it is. Which is odd because I hate jelly beans. I hate jelly beans, but I'm I really kind of surprised that you got this. Why? Because I don't think usually like your usual scents are usually like this. Because there was like coconutty kind of things, <laughs> like tropical things that you usually. I get. do love the tropical scent. Well, that's kind of tropical, tutti frutti. Not really. It, it's trop. It says pink sands on it. How's well, that the not tropical? Why you got it is because it's pink sands. I told you my favorite color is pink. She's not lying. As you can tell. <laughs> Yeah, and my bedspread's not acting like my duvet isn't on my comforter, but it's legit pink cheetah print. <laughs> as you can see, I love the cheetah print as well. That's my pillow. <laughs> and then when we stopped at tar Target, I found some stuff in their dollar section. And these are going to be going in my book of shadows, so this right here. Remember I was talking about those dividers that I found at Target before? Right there they are. You're still there. And then those are like file folders. So I got those. And then I also got some stylish pens to be writing with. Because you can never have enough pens. Never. Because I always lose them. You know why? Because my cat steals them. She steals them and runs off with them. And then I never find them again. Until I'm cleaning, and then I'm like, oh, that's where it went. And then I found this really cool little pen holder, pencil cup, and it's like glittery, like sparkles on it. You can see it. I can see it a little better. Something on it. There, I got it off. But I got that to hold all my pens and pencils and stuff on. Um, when I have like all of my stuff out, so. And she found a lot of cool stuff that she may be getting in the future for the new job. I told Angie that I should just take a picture of the desk cubicle that I had and then I'll just let her decorate it. I'm gonna be excited over Cause that. Because out of our friendship, we're like, we really are like yin and yangy kind of people because I am totally like, disorganized oh yeah i'm disorganized but i can i you know what though forget i found out that i can be really organized at work but in my personal life i'm horrible <laughs> at it and i'm sure lots of you can relate because like all right boss is watching let's let's make this nice and neat and then when i'm at home i'm like <laughs> it's like cyclone just Bra everywhere off. <laughs> Bra off, cabinets open <laughs> Lights on She won't even be in the room The light will still be on All the cabinets will be open <laughs> And like, I'm a creative person But like, I have Horrible time thinking of creative ideas So that's where she comes in I'm like the executor And she's like The thinker Kind of And that's where I because my birthday falls on January 31st, so I'm an Aquarius, and I, I've been talking about this for the past couple of days. I really am a typical Aquarius. I'm a true Aquarian. Everything I keep finding out about them, um, it's me to a T. Like, everything about Aquarius is pretty much how I am. And one of the things is they're extremely creative, they're thinkers, they're intuitive, intuitive and that that's really me right there. Um, like I can be motivated and get something done if I like definitely want to do it. But I also have those moments where I'm like, eh, tomorrow's another day. I can do it tomorrow. So sometimes I proc procrastinate, but usually if I have something I want to get done, it'll get done. But she is right. We, we have a lot of similar qualities about us like we do mesh very well because we have a lot of common denominators in our friendship but yet at the same time we are opposites in some way but they say that opposites attract and I think that's what makes us 
like besties and why we've been such friends for such a long time. Like how many years is it now? It's been like 18 years now, I think. I mean, I met you when you were like 11, right? 11 or 12. I thought so because like if you're 11, that means I would be eight. We're f about five years apart. And I'm 24 right mm, yeah, now. Yeah, about five. I'm 24 right now, and she's 29. So, yeah, it would make you around 11 or almost 12, maybe. Yeah. So, I don't know the math on that, but... Long it's time. It's at least 10 years. Maybe it's more around, like, 16 years. I think that's probably more like it. More around 16 or 17 years. But we do mesh very well together, and it's because we both kind of have, like, the similarities, but yet we've got the opposites. Like she said, she's kind of a pessimist, like... A tiny bit. I'm just more of a realist because of how my parents were when I grew up, so... But I, I'm definitely a dreamer. I dream of all kinds of things, and I think, you know, like... Like I, I, I told her once I thought we should start a business... But I think it's a wonderful it idea. It is. It is and, a wonderful idea. Okay, in Alaska, where I'm from, because I don't know how much she's talked about me about we're in these run videos. Out of time. Oh, I like li we're running out of time. But yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time. But but anyway, we can definitely get in that idea. subject before later. I'll tell, talk to you guys more about it later. <laughs> but I'm like the big like optimist. Like my head's always up in the clouds, and sometimes I need a firm yank back down to the ground and. That's where she comes into, into play. <laughs> so hope you all have a wonderful day. And thanks for joining us on our adventure today. Bye. Bye guys. I have ideas. What did I do with that? Mm, what notebook is it in? I don't know. I've got to find it. And I should probably pull my... Hey! What are you doing? This never happened. What?